In this video, we will see how to visualize solutions for differential equations using something called slope fields. So previously we learned about what differential equations are. A differential equation is just an equation with derivatives, and a solution is a function that satisfies the differential equation. We talked a little bit about graphing solutions to differential equations, but we said that you can't really graph a differential equation in the normal sense of the way that we think about graphing functions. So instead, we will be able to visualize differential equation solutions using something called slope fields. So what is a slope field? A slope field, which is sometimes called a direction field, is a visualization of the general solution of a differential equation of a certain form. The differential equation here has to have this form. y prime equals some function of x and y. And we could use here, instead of y prime, we could use dy dx. So right here, we have really the same sort of expression. We've just used a dy dx rather than y prime, and we want to be flexible with which one of these pieces of notation we use. y prime, dy dx, it doesn't actually matter. So in order to create a slope field, we have to have a differential equation of this form. Notice that this is first order. And it's first order where we've solved for y prime all on one side of the equation. This notation here, the f of x comma y, this just means some expression with x's and y's without any y primes. So an example here, we could have something like y prime equals uh, x plus y. This would be the function of x and y. So this notation here with the two arguments inside the parentheses, this just means we have some expression in terms of x and y. So our differential equations have to have this special form in order to create a slope field. How do we create a slope field? What is, what is a slope field all about? Well, we're going to take a bunch of points, and this is sort of arbitrary which points we take and how many, but we take a bunch of points, and we'll just think of x, y as giving us a representative point in the plane. And at each of these points, we will draw a short line segment. And we draw that short line segment having a slope of whatever the function is equal to at that point. So it's really critical here to think about dy dx or y prime. So y prime, that's the same as dy dx. This is the slope of the tangent line at any point. So it's the slope of the tangent line to the solution curve. So it's really important here to think of the derivative as giving us the slope of little tangent lines. And we're going to draw in a bunch of representative little tangent lines throughout the plane. So let's try this with our first example here. Here we have the differential equation dy dx or y prime equals 2 over y. This is our function, capital F of x, y. There's no x's here. This is just dependent on y. And do you remember what this is called when we have a differential equation where y prime is simply a function of y? If there's no x's, this is called an autonomous differential equation. So that's sort of not super relevant here, but this is called an autonomous differential equation, where the differential equation depends only on the y value, not on the x value. So here we have a differential equation. We have the sort of a form that we need, and we want to sketch some of the direction field. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to take, first of all, just the point 1, 1. Now, I don't care about the x value of this point. I only care about the y value. So if I take the y value at the point 1, 1, this would tell me y equals 1. So dy dx is 2 over y, which is just 2 over 1, so 2. So I'm going to plot a small line segment having a slope of 2. So right here, a slope of 2 looks something like this. Now, whenever y equals 1, I have the same slope. So along this entire horizontal line, all of my little line segments have the slope of 2. So right here, I have a slope of 2, slope of 2, etc., etc. We don't have to be super precise here, just giving a rough idea of what this looks like. Everywhere where y equals 1, the derivative is equal to 2. So I think of the slope of the tangent line as being equal to 2. Now let's pick this point right here. Here we have a y value of 2. If we plug 2 into the derivative, into the differential equation, then we have 2 over 2, which is 1. So I'm going to get a slope of 1 here at this point. It's not quite as steep. And whenever y equals 2, we have the slope of 1. 
How about when y equals 0? Well, if y equals 0, we have a problem. We're dividing by 0. And that would give us an undefined slope. An undefined slope corresponds to a vertical line. So when y is 0, we have these vertical tangent lines. How about when y is negative? What happens when y equals, say, negative 1? Well, all along this, ten, this horizontal line, those are y equals negative 1 values. So if I plug negative 1 in here, I get 2 over negative 1. I have slopes of negative 2. So I'll plot these slopes of negative 2 in here. Whenever y equals negative 1, the slope is negative 2. If y equals negative 2, I plug negative 2 into the differential equation, and I get slope values of 2 over negative 2, negative 1. So I'll put negative 1 slopes whenever y equals negative 2. Now think about what happens as y gets larger. As y gets larger, my fraction is getting smaller and smaller. I divide by larger numbers, so I get smaller and smaller values of the fraction. So the slope will get smaller and smaller. So as I get larger y values, the slope starts to sort of even out. This happens in both the positive and the negative directions. When the slope gets larger positive or larger negative, or when, when the y value gets larger positive or larger negative, then the slope starts to approach a slope of zero. So there we have it. There is a rough sketch of the slope field for this differential equation. This is rather tedious to draw in all these little line segments, and we'll actually use Desmos or Mathematica to generate these slope fields for us. But it's good practice to draw one or two of these just so we understand the relationship between the differential equation and the lines of the slope field. Now, we want to plot the solution that satisfies the initial condition y of 1 equals 3. y of 1 equals 3 means that the point 1 comma 3 is on the solution curve. So y of 1 equals 3, we want to plot the, the solution passing through the point 1, 3. So x equals 1, y equals 3, that's that point right there. I want to plot the solution satisfying that point. How do I do this? Well, I take the initial starting point here, and I follow the direction that the slope field tells me to go. So the slope field tells me to start going this direction, and then it starts getting more and more steep, something like this, and I just go with the flow here. So plotting this specific solution would look something like that. It looks like a sideways parabola. So the way to plot a solution in a slope field is just to start at some point and go with the flow of where the lines tell you to go. You want to always stay parallel to the lines. You don't want to ever cross uh, perpendicularly to the lines. You always, wherever your, wherever your sketch is, it always needs to match up with the direction of those little line segments. So that's the way to plot a solution. This slope field is a visualization of all the solutions to this differential equation. We could plot a solution over here. It doesn't pass through the same point, but that's another valid solution. We could plot a solution over here. These are all different solutions for this slope field. So that's why a slope field gives us a visualization of the general solution. We could look at any particular graph in this slope field that follows the lines, and that would represent a solution curve for this differential equation. In fact, we'll see later on a method for solving this differential equation. This actually has a solution of y squared equals 4x plus c. Don't worry right now about where this solution comes from. But we can use a method to solve this differential equation and get this as the solution. If we take different values for c here, we'll get different solution curves that match the flow of this slope field. Let's take a look at this in Desmos. So here we have some Desmos code that will generate slope fields for us. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description so that you can uh, access this code for yourself and play around with it. Uh, I will say this code is not original to me. I did modify it but you can go ahead and use this code to help visualize slope fields. First of all, before we actually look at the slope field, let's think about the specific point. I've got this point here, and I can move the point around, and this line segment is the slope uh, at any particular point. So if we choose y equals 2, we should get a slope of 1. There we go. If we choose y equals 1, we get the slope of 2, and anywhere along a horizontal line, those slopes should all look the same. Okay, let's take a look at the entire uh, slope field. There it is. There's the slope field. And if we move this point around, we can see that it matches the slopes. And this is really exactly what we drew, except Desmos just generated it way faster and way more line segments. 
Now, I told you that the general solution for this differential equation is y squared equals 4x plus c. So here's what those curves look like. As we move the value of c, we get all these different particular solutions to the differential equation. So the slope field is really helping us to visualize all of these particular solutions. We could pick any point that we want, and we could look at the solution passing through that point. So we looked at the solution passing through the point 1, 3, and we can get this if we have a c value of 5. So when c equals 5, the solution curve passes through that point, and we could actually solve that here. If we plug in 1 for x and 3 for y, we could solve that to get c equals 5. So here we have that specific solution that we just plotted by hand. So we saw in Desmos that the solution here uh, actually has the value y squared equals 4x plus 5. That is the solution that passes through this point. Once again, don't worry about where this solution came from. At this point, we don't know how to solve a differential equation like this. So we shouldn't worry about developing this solution, but just understand that this is the general solution for the differential equation. All of the different values for c here will give us different parabolas that look something like this. Let's work through example two. We want to sketch some of the direction field for this differential equation, and then we want to plot the solution passing through the origin. This gets pretty laborious to draw all of these little line segments in by hand, so we'll just draw a few of them here, and then we'll really rely on Desmos to generate the entire slope field for us. But let's draw in a couple of the line segments. It's good practice to understand the relationship between the differential equation and the slope field picture. So here's our differential equation, y prime equals x plus y, and let's write this as dy dx equals x plus y. And again, we want to think of this as the slope of the tangent line to the solution curves at the point x comma y. So we're going to just take a bunch of sample points here, and at each point we're drawing a line segment that has a slope of the x value plus the y value. So for example, let's pick the origin here. What is the slope at the origin? Well, the origin is one, uh, 0, 0. So if we plug in 0, 0 for x and y, we just get a horizontal line. What about at the point 1, 1? Well, if we plug in 1, 1 for x and y, then we get uh, a value of 2 here, so we want to draw a slope of 2. So at 1, 1, we draw a slope of 2. At, let's see, 0, 1, we're going to draw in a slope of uh, 0 plus 1 is 1. At 1, 0, we also get a slope of 1. At 2, 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, so we get a slope of 2. At 2, 1, we get a slope of 3, so it's getting steeper. At 0, negative 1, that's right here, we get a slope of 0 plus negative 1, negative 1. So that would be the slope right here. At 1, negative 1, the x and y values cancel out. We have 1 uh, minus 1, so we have a slope of 0. And actually notice this. If we take this line here, if we take y equals negative x, that's that line. If y equals negative x, then the x and y values would just cancel out. So everywhere on this line, y equals negative x, we have horizontal tangent lines. So horizontal tangent line, horizontal, horizontal. We have horizontal tangent lines all along this line. Okay, what about at this point right here? That's the point negative 1, 2. Add negative 1 plus 2 and we get 1. This point here, 0, 2, we get a slope of 2. And 0, uh, 1, 2, we get a slope of 3. So we're starting to sort of see a picture here of what this looks like. At negative 1, 0, we get a slope of negative 1. At negative 2, positive 1, we get a slope of negative 1. Actually, if we look at any parallel line to this line here, the slopes will always be the same along these parallel lines because the, the sum of the x and y values will be the same along any of these diagonal lines parallel to y equals negative x. Okay, let's plot the solution passing through the origin. We won't draw any more of this by hand, and then we'll look at this whole thing in Desmos. So the solution passing through the origin, that's right here. And initially, if we want to follow the lines of the slope field, that will start off in this direction, and then it will start to get steeper and steeper. And actually, I sort of missed it here. I didn't really follow the direction. So I'll draw this a little bit better. We want to really follow the direction of the slope field something more like that. And then if we go in the negative x direction, the slopes will start going more like this. So there's roughly what that solution curve will look like 
And let's go ahead and look at this now in Desmos for a more accurate picture. So to plot this differential equation slope field in Desmos, I'm going to enter the differential equation here. Uh, this is y prime equals x plus y. And here's the slope field. So that's sort of like what we started to draw, but Desmos does this way faster. And here's a really better picture of what the slope field looks like. Now remember, this is not a graph of the differential equation. We can't just graph a differential equation in the normal sense of graphing things. This is a visualization of what the solutions to the differential equation look like. So we just plotted the solution passing through the origin. And it turns out that the general solution for this differential equation is an arbitrary constant times e to the x minus x minus 1. Now, where did that solution come from? How do we get this solution? Don't worry about that right now. Uh, just understand that this is the solution, and if we move this slider around for different values of c, we'll get different looking curves. And notice how all of these curves follow the line segments in the slope field. They go with the flow. So if we, if we look at any of those little line segments around the curve, the slope of the line segment exactly matches the slope of the curve. So right here, the curve is always parallel to the line segments that it's nearby. Now when c equals 0, uh, actually no, when c equals 1, oh this is actually interesting, when c equals 0 we just get the line uh, y equals x minus 1. So that's kind of interesting, that's actually a solution, y equals x minus 1. If we plug c equals 0, uh, actually don't, negative x minus 1, but that's a solution to this differential equation. Uh, to get the solution that passes through the origin, we would plug in the point 0, 0 in for the x value and y value in the differential or in the solution here. And if we plug in 0 for x, 0 for y, we could solve for c. c is equal to 1 in that case. So if we have c equals 1, then we get the particular solution that satisfies the differential equation and passes through the origin.